what you're after. It's different than the little pieces you block together and add them up. It's different than adding basic technique on top of basic technique. It's a totally different part. Therefore, this is important. Gestalt theory says, can you hit the lights, please? Thank you. If you do not train at the level where you expect to have to perform, and if you do not train in the environment, and I say environment, I mean as closely as possible the landscape of the brain, where you hear and see and visualize the environment that you expect to have to perform in. If you do not train in the environment where you expect to have to perform, you should expect little transfer of ability. Because the difference between the two environments can be enough in many circumstances to push you to the limbic system. The similarity of the two environments, if they are similar, this is key, if the environments are similar, you step up the training, you step up the activity and the intensity in, a, in an environment as similar as possible to your intended goal, whether it's street self-defense or ring fighting or cage fighting, the higher your threshold is of getting pushed from the cortex into the limbic system. And then if it does occur, the more likely you are to be able to snap back into the cortex and become effective again. It's the first break in the action. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Always remember this. We will not rise to the level of our expectations. We will fall to the level of our training. That's key. Lights. 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 That's next week. We will not rise to the level of our expectations. We will fall to the level of our training. We will not do as well as we want to do. We will do as well as we have trained to do. Mm -hmm. Truer words were never spoken. 